Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, we've got the runtime for the upcoming Mario movie and what you can expect from future Nintendo intellectual properties. Barney's coming back, but will Baby Bob join him? We'll also take a look at one of the characters from Redemption Reapers and it's all presented by Binary Hayes. Let's drop it. <laughs> Right now, the runtime for the upcoming Illumination film, Super Mario Brothers, may have been revealed. Now, this comes from the Irish Film Classification Online site, which supposedly is responsible for certifying cinema releases in Ireland, which lists the movie as being one hour and 32 minutes in length. Now, it comments there will be mild peril and comic violence, which is to be expected. It's a Mario movie. But the film is just a few minutes short of its live action adaptation and counterpart, Super Mario Brothers from 1993 with John Leguizamo. Y'all remember that, it was a turd. Anyways, the movie starring Chris Pratt as the mustachioed Mario is a rather short romp in the Mushroom Kingdom, shorter than both Sonic movies. But this is just the introduction into Nintendo taking bigger risks in the movies and the TV space. Now, Nintendo's global president told Fast Company that, quote, animation in general is something that we are looking into and not just this franchise. Then he went on to say, quote, although the ways we are expanding our IP are increasing, we are very, very careful about where and how our IP is licensed. We are not deploying our characters and worlds merely to increase public exposure. Now this is great news to hear because Nintendo has been sitting on a solid list of IPs for decades now and it's surprising how few of them have transitioned into movies and animated shows. But with successes like 2019's Detective Pikachu and potentially this upcoming Mario movie, hopefully the tides are indeed changing and we'll see more Nintendo IPs across the silver and small screens. But I'm curious to know, what Nintendo IP would you love for them to turn into a movie? Comment down below and let's discuss. Moving on, uh, Barney is coming back from extinction with a new show. Now, the purple dinosaur that professed his love to all of us and everyone in the world is coming back with a brand new animated series in 2024 with a brand new nightmare-fueled look. As if he didn't look creepy before. Ugh. Anyways. Mattel apparently has big plans for Barney with a new movie, toys, music, and streetwear for kids and adults. Yeah, it's streetwear. Like Y'all gonna be walking around with a, with a freaking Barney jacket. That's weird. Anyways, no word yet on if Baby Bop, BJ, or Riff plan on signing contracts to join Barney, but we'll keep y'all posted. Also, was I the only one that thought Riff looked exceptionally creepy? Well, just look at that face. That face and the movements, man, he looks weird. It's nightmare fuel. Anyways, yeah, hopefully they use mocap for this particular series, similar to what they did with uh, Sid the Science Kid. Ugh, now, I know what you're thinking. How was I able to lift this heavy box in just a few seconds? Well, it's called dedication and training. Now, it's something I learned from my dear friend, Urs. Now, Urs is a barbarian who lives to fight and is the perfect friend to have when facing a horde of baddies called the Mort in this turn-based RPG, Redemption Reapers. Now, he may be big, but he's a gentle soul that serves as a shield for his allies, doling out huge area attacks on the front line. Now, team up with four other allies and experience this deeply moving human drama. To kickstart your adventure, head on over to Steam and immerse yourselves in the dark fantasy world of Redemption Reapers. Ah! Ow! Ah! Sorry. And that was your Fixer of Entertainment news for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson and thank you so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices and for everything else, stick with IGN.